What's up guys, tonight I'm going to try and do a quick product review video on the Lucky Duck Super Revolt E-Collar. Um, I just got this in the mail a couple days ago. I bought it online for a total of I think a little bit over $800. And, uh, I've been busy duck hunting and deer hunting and uh, I've had trail cameras out. Uh, there's been coyotes and my deer hunting spot is a very special one, a black one, and I'll definitely show it in my video here. Deer hunting is officially over. It's 2024 now. I am free to hunt coyotes and this is what I got. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it is. Super Revolt with tripod and battery kit. Uh, retail is $749.99 and so after taxes it's a little bit over $800. Uh, it's built off of a solid reputation of the Revolt uh, and then it has an updated design that is rugged and durable which it's covered in silicone so the housing or the main body itself has a silicone cover as well as the remote that comes with a silicone case cover. Featuring 200 preloaded sounds, capacity of 2000, uh, and then it has the capability of playing two different sounds at once. Live animal sounds have been compiled by the Ver Verminator Rick Palette and have, used, have been used to win the World Coyote Calling Contest. Um, it does include a rechargeable lithium ion battery and charger also features a longer motorized decoy with erratic motion and a taller, more robust tripod that casts sounds further. Additional tweeter, speaker for high frequency sounds, and a remote controlled rotational base that broadcasts sound 360 degrees. Includes the LD3X remote with backlit buttons, 3.2 inch LCD screen and day, dawn, night uh, modes with, le with 10 levels of brightness. Remote has a range of 100 yards, and that's pretty much a quick overview of this. So let's get to the package. Manual instructions, Super Revolt. pretty big and this year 2024 will be my first year of hunting coyotes we'll see how that goes I'm planning to head out tomorrow morning so wish me luck and I hope that I can call in that black coyote um, and bring it home if I do get it I plan to get it tanned for the pelt and keep it around the house So if you can see, it does have a silicone cover around the unit itself. It'll help with noise elimination and just grip just feels nicer. But here you have the tweeter I assume your sub or speaker and then you have the back on and off SD card slot is right here and battery slot is right here and this is where the tripod goes it is magnetic there's the bottom piece Screw that on to the tripod, open the legs, and right there, this goes on the bottom. There 
there is a, a notched um, line or tick on the bottom so that you can align it to the bottom as it has one there, a groove or something, you know? Here's the remote. There you go, you have your power button, B, I'm not sure what that means, your volume, your selection, play, pause, recall D Y and S and then on, on the side you have your buttons F1 through F3 and a G and then on the other side you have D double D N and aux and so I assume these are where you can set up and put your favorites on it right around the back uh, it takes three double A batteries. Here is your charging cord. Here is the antenna. Is right here. Go ahead and just screw that on. And then your tail flicker, it goes, oh, on top, right here. So there it, it is covered. You just open it. And then it, uh, when you're not using your decoy or your e-collar, there is a slot on the side here you can uh, store your flicker so that it's not just always on top So I just slide in just like that But for now, let's try and use it. So let's go ahead and put it in again. There's a notch on top And then it'll go right in here. It's magnetic uh, Let's open the battery compartment There we go all right, so here is a lithium ion battery, rechargeable. Uh, I decided to go with this because of, you know, the rechargeable battery so that I don't have to worry about buying batteries all the time. All my other decoys for like my waterfowl, um, they're all lithium ion batteries because it's so much better than having to worry about buying batteries every year. Uh, I, that's why I decided to get this one here. I haven't charged it yet and I'm pretty sure you are supposed to charge it before the first use but since I'm doing the product video let's go ahead and just plug it in really quick for the review and then I can charge it after. it's on or there's battery life and there's battery life so let's go ahead and get started uh, remote let's go ahead and turn that on and there it goes finding caller and it is on so right now it's currently on night mode here are the buttons on the side, day mode, dusk and dawn mode, and night mode. And so I believe to change it, you just have to hold on each button. So let's go and try day mode and see what it looks like. Day mode, so it is just brighter, dawn and dusk. A little bit dimmer. And then night mode. Most likely I will be using the setting for tomorrow morning because I plan to just do a morning hunt and hopefully they come in. So this is what it looks like. Selection, Cottontail, Jackrabbit, 
I'll just go down really quick so you guys can see the selections. What's B? Okay, I don't know what that is. Volume. 14, 15. Uh, so let's go ahead and just use one of these. Okay, so that, once you select a call, then it goes to a bigger list of other prey. Scooby Snack, Silly Rabbit. If you want to play two different calls at the same time, you're going to want to press the sound channel right here. Sound channel will show you aux sound number one and then channel number two. So let's try something here. Let's do... Coyote Coon Fight. And then let's switch to add. There you go. You have two calls at the same time. And then... Let's just do, go back, let's try interrogation. And then these buttons. <laughs> Turn it down. This here swivels makes the call turn, so let's try that one. There you go. Okay, so you have to turn it on and off in order for it to stop and we go to the next to turn on the decoy it is the dy decoy so let's go ahead and turn that on there it goes Decoy has three different settings, so decoy speed one. That's what it looks like. Decoy speed two. And it'll spin faster and more often it looks like. Decoy speed three. Simultaneously and fast. And then I believe you press it again, it'll turn off. Yes. Uh, these are going to be your favorite buttons. So F1, F2, F3. These are your favorite buttons. Um, these are designed to store your favorite, your three favorite sounds for quick access when hunting. Press the F1 through F3 button once to play the programmed sound at the predefined volume level. And then program F1 through 3. Simply highlight the sound you want to program as a favorite and adjust the volume to your preferred level. Hold down the corresponding F1 through F3 button. The highlighted sound will flash 
on the display screen confirming the program is complete. If the F1 button will not program, try programming F2 and F3 first and then program F1. So let's see what's currently on F1. Oh, and uh, the screen auto automatically goes to sleep, like I believe after so many seconds. All right, so F1 is shelter belt. F2 is cotton ball. F3 is TNT LD. Have it. Um, I will program these probably later on. And the G is the gain control. Uh, it has a four stage gain control function. The gain control on this color has four settings one through four, one being the loudest and four being the highest. So you can just adjust that according to what you prefer and like. And here is your e collar from Lucky Duck. The Super Revolt. Again, you can take this off, put it away on the side. Silicone. this is it thank you guys so much for tuning in uh if you've liked this video don't forget to like share and subscribe anything and all of that helps um but tomorrow i will head out on my first coyote hunt and i will be sure to keep you guys updated hopefully i get something tomorrow morning we'll see you guys later bye <laughs>